My name is Marilyn. I'm a targeted individual. I'm a torture victim. Uh, synthetic telepathy, remote neural monitoring, uh, voice to skull, and uh, I don't have chatterbox. Um, if I do, I don't hear it. It's not audible. I'm sure there's a, a chatterbox program playing over the hive to make them so dumb. These are weak-minded black men and black women and white men and white women. That's true. Okay? But primarily I'm being tortured to death by black people from the west side of Dayton, Ohio. I want to tell you what they do to my brain. They mind control me to feel excruciating pain. They smother my brain and make it swell. And it feels like it leaks into my sinuses. Uh, the base of my spine and the back of my skull hurts. The frontal lobe, the top, the sides. And I get directed energy weapons. They want to speak for me. They want to talk for me. And none of these assholes have a job. Not one of them. These are black people who have no job. I have a job. Um, in addition to that, these are people that command it on crack or cocaine. And they repeat a command to my brain. A stalker just drove by. White Chevy. And he's speeding off because I looked at him at the window. Um... Uh, as they cause me pain, as a group, they try to stay awake as long as they can, high, and um, they touch themselves sexually, and they have sex with other people in gang stalking, and people that are not aware of it, and they're seeing my memories and thoughts, and they, and they command me to, uh, to show my feelings of memories from childhood on up to this point and they do this to each other and they do it to me more I believe and um, they <coughs> are obsessed with me there's about 20 to 30 people that can see through my eyes at least hear my thoughts um, see my thoughts which means when they close my eyes they can see uh, my home they can see this blue painting they can um, hear me, and they can feel me, all right? Now, what, what they do in Montgomery County is that they rape me, okay, repeatedly. Edward Hamilton, Michael Warden, Keisha Brown, Lori, or her first name might be Linda, Brian, Josh, Chris Ryan, that may or may not be true, uh, Gary, um, Virgil Pearson, Charles, middle name Avery, Natasha Williams, last name Miller, uh, Todd, Desmond, uh, many, many more people than that, way more people than that, and they are sitting there torturing me. Now, what's interesting about these people is that they have um, an obsession with molestation of children, rape of women, and rape of men. And the, you know, of course, everything that goes with that. So, they, um, these people are already pedophiles. They're already rapists. And that's why they were recruited. So, whatever this is, they recruit pedophiles. I think more than you think, a lot of these people are sexual, um, abusers, that they, they sexually abuse people, that that's the one thing that they have in common, that they've done it for real, or they want to do it, and then they do it and they act it out on the population. Um, they're obsessed with repeating sexual assault, okay? Uh, they obsessively want to keep the, the victim in a position where they can be raped and, and, and assaulted repeatedly, like a, like, um, a kid, you basically kidnapped. So they, they're hiving on you, and they're torturing you, and then when you sleep, God knows how many people join in to rape you. So be aware of that. Um, 
And so they're raping you while you sleep. They're torturing you while you sleep. Um, Gary, in particular, he likes to look at the memories of adults and teenagers because they have teenagers that are black that they gang stalked and now they are perps and they're, they're losers, okay? And they look at their childhood and they try to look and see attractive children and then they molest them and R&M. So they, they sexually assault a memory. So they found a way to be a rapist pedophile and a child pornographer and a torturer all in one. <coughs> As a group, they are all into the feelings of people and to sexually assault emotions. It doesn't matter what the emotion is because they want to feel another person and then they um, ask for feelings and they ejaculate in, in orgasm. What else do they do? Uh, they get together and while well, yeah, I just woke up to make coffee, or get the house together, get ready for work, they try to torture me and jerk off as I'm doing laundry. While they're looking at me do laundry. Um, they, uh, now they're tell now the sodomite who had sex with his little brother, um, they just recently found that he, he has, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you a quote, the sodomite's from Five Oaks. I don't know if his name's Reggie or Reginald. But he molested his brother repeatedly. And, um, I asked him why he did it, and he said it was because he was tender. And I said, what do you mean by tender? That he was soft. So he, he raped his brother. This person talks to me 24 hours a day. He has an obsession with children, and he gets excited when he sees children. And, and when he's gay, and so when he sees children, to his brain that means sex. That's a pedophile. Um, <clears throat> um, children are not put on this earth for that. They're supposed to be protected until they be can be healthy and grow up to be an adult and, and get a job. Okay. okay. Now, um, what else do they do? Um, they're perpetually gang raping people around Montgomery County. Many people don't know what's going on. Um, there's lots of victims that are raped in their sleep. Spied on, of course. Let's see what else. The sodomites, um, what they've done to the females, the perps, and the TIs, is that they <coughs> abuse the women. They hate women, and they impersonate us. Okay, so I'm being tortured by two gay men, probably a lot more. Gary, I think he's gay. Um, And um, they try to be the woman. So when I go to sleep, they say, show me what it's like to be Marilyn. The feelings, what did you wear? Put those clothes on me. I want to wear the clothes that you wore. I want to wear the hair that you had. Right, are there any other females that I can pretend to be? They pretend to be my aunts, the gay guys. They all pretend to be my family. They pretend to interact with my family. They're obsessed with my family. I think sometimes they're confused that they think my family is their family. Michael Wharton is torturing me every day with Virgil Pearson. Charles Avery. Uh, has his own little group of homeless men. They gang stalked homeless men and recruited them to be gang stalkers. And then, um, what Charles has done is try to convince them that they should torture me for the rest of their life to get crack in an apartment. So they got a they got an apartment to live in, and they get drugs and food delivered to them, and sometimes cash, I guess. And so. These men are in their 50s and they believe that they're supposed to torture me uh, 
and it's 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 horrible and absolutely not. I, you are not supposed to torture me. Um, Michael Warden is so sick and dangerous. He needs to be put out of his misery. <coughs> Legally. All right, now what else do they do? That background noise is a um, a crowd sound effect. I use it to hear them so I can tell which person's talking to me. It helps. If you have a lot of people talking to you in your head and you don't know who's, sometimes they're, they're, they're handling our brains and making us do things against our will. And, and this is when you, you're trying to relax sometimes. You're just like, for instance, um, I'll, I'll make something do something and ugh, like eggs I'll make eggs for breakfast and they'll say why don't you do this and you just kind of you know it's them and you kind of float into it um uh, I don't I don't recommend doing that um don't do what they tell you to do don't do it never do it it doesn't matter even if it's good if you think it's good advice these are not your friends okay um, the other thing that I want to really, I really want to, I hope that I can get help this way. Now we have a problem in the black race that, um, it's not the black community. It's the black race. Um, it's a different, it's a, it's an ethnic group. I see, you know, I don't want to go into, I was, I, I'm just going to say something else, but, I, you know, it's, it's a human. <laughs> There's something wrong with them. Now, there's, <laughs> there is something so wrong with it. Um, I have never, they have spent so much time thinking about me. Um, <laughs> they are so, I have to, you know, I don't want to lose my YouTube channel again. Um, I'm black. And, uh, <laughs> Oh, okay, I'll put it this way, and I've said it before, and I'm, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not apologizing. I'm saying you're going to pick cotton for 300 years. Obviously, something's wrong with your brain. 300 years? You can't convince each other. <clears throat> All right, so, um, and I know, you know, I don't want to go into the abolitionists, you know, those nice people. Um... That the gang stalkers are similar to these slaves. That um, they're going to recruit more black people. And I don't want a race war. I'm saying that if they continue this kind of grabbing of black people to be gang stalkers. From, from a certain type. That um, it's going to start a civil war. They are, they are so stupid. So, okay, so Perk just gave me an idea. So, first of all, uh, they, will, they will watch me eat food. Okay. Some of them are on welfare. They're drug dealers. They're drug addicts. They're, they're the total loser group of the country. I'll be eating food and they'll say, God, I'm hungry. Um, yeah, I'm hungry. And they're all sitting there. In their private homes, watching me eat, drooling. Um, and then they say to a handler or somebody with money, if I torture Marilyn, will you get me a pizza from Domino's? Instead of, right, instead of saying, will you just get some, will someone get me some food? They say, no. I want the food, but I want to torture her for the food.
All right, so you see, you see that um, I'm being dominated by homeless people. All right, so, you know, it's just another slave trade, and, um, this is what I think may have happened on the plantation. A lot of these runaways, um, we're running away from other slaves. And, um, God, I just realized I don't have any milk or cream for my coffee. Um, You know, that's how I feel. Like, I've tried to run away from them. And, um... You know, there's, like, this large group of blacks in the remote neural monitor, and there's a large group of black people on the slave plantation. And, you know, I'm trying to run from them. Um... It's the most unwanted group of people on the planet. 